Why do healthcare markets fail? How is healthcare different from regular products like cars and toothpaste where market dynamics translate into what we call allocative efficiency? And what is allocative efficiency? What factors impact on the overall supply and demand for healthcare at a national level? Stick with me, we'll dig into all of this over the next few minutes. Before we look at healthcare, let's look at regular garden variety market dynamics. Where the market is in equilibrium, in other words, the price and the quantity are being correctly determined by supply and demand then it's the case that there are no resources being wasted, and we call this allocative efficiency. And for most garden variety products, this works incredibly well. There is a relationship between the price that a product has been sold for and the quantity of that product that consumers will buy. At lower prices, people will buy more products, and if the price goes up, they'll buy less. We think of this relationship as the demand curve, Think of it as the general appetite in the marketplace for a product at a point in time. And if that product suddenly becomes more popular, then the demand will increase. And at the new demand, a higher quantity will be purchased for each price point. It's also true that the cost of producing a product, which is the minimum amount that a supplier can reasonably sell it for, is dependent on the quantity that gets produced. Once economies of scale have been exhausted, the marginal cost of production goes up with the quantity produced. And this marginal cost of production for different quantities is called the supply curve. And where the demand and the supply curve intersect, we have got the optimal price and quantity for a product that works for both buyers and sellers in the marketplace, and we call this market equilibrium. But when it comes to healthcare, there's a few reasons why the markets don't work. Let's take a quick look at a few of them. Firstly, allocative efficiency assumes that there's perfect competition. In other words, there's lots of buyers and sellers and no one entity can control the prices. And this requires that there aren't any significant barriers to entering the market. In the case of healthcare provision, you can't just quickly decide to become a doctor and compete with other doctors. You have to go to medical school and study for years and years and years. In other words, it's a barrier to enter into the marketplace. You also can't quickly start up a new hospital and compete with other hospitals in the area. Aside from the cost, there are substantial and necessary regulatory hurdles to overcome. And so healthcare providers that are already in the market can set prices higher than would be the case in a perfectly competitive market environment. Secondly, allocative efficiency also assumes that there is perfect information. This means that buyers and sellers know everything about the products, the costs, the benefits, the alternatives, etc. In healthcare, consumers know a lot less about healthcare than the providers. In fact, the consumers and the patients usually trust the healthcare provider 